Hey guys, welcome back. So I just saw the um Xbox, what's it called? The Xbox showcase, I guess you'll call it. Um, so the beginning part of it, guys, is pretty standard for games. Most games that we really know of, um, like more um also Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, I believe it's called. Uh, forgive me. Um, do not remember the name off the top of my head. Yeah, so I got the name right, looks of it. Um, so that was a good one. I mean, I've never played like Metal Gear games because I mean, for the most part, I wanted a PlayStation back in the day, and I didn't have a PlayStation. I actually never had a PlayStation. Yeah. Excuse me, I never had a PlayStation for some time. So that's why I didn't really have it. Now I remember some games did come out on the Nintendo and all that, but I didn't know about them back back then, guys. I remember when I was, when the NES was out, I was much more than I am now. So the NES came out what ninety five or something, ninety six, something like that. Um, I was, I was born ninety five, eighty five. Sorry, so I was born about the same time. So it explains why I didn't know every single game from the NES. And probably I didn't really get into into anything into like the later part of the NES, Super Nintendo, uh, Sega Genesis, and Master System, and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, my my main bit is around about the sixteen bit. That's when I started really getting into it. So, yeah, well, either way, guys, it looks pretty damn good. I mean, it's got definitely a good story. Oh, the story looks pretty good actually. I don't should I say it's got a good story because I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's got a bit of a story element. It, it definitely looks um uh, fun to watch. So I'm going to watch it, guys. Um, I'm going to play it too. At some point, I don't know if it comes down Game Pass. I can't remember. Um, excuse me, I have fucking pork. Fork sticking in my fucking back and hand. Well, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah, as you can see, guys, it's still early in the morning here, so I'm gonna hopefully in my next video, guys, it'll be all cleaned up. Um, also the bigger problem is I've got some unwelcome visitor there, so uh, I don't know how I'm gonna clean do all that with him on it. I guess we'll find out. Um, so yeah, for the beginning part of it, guys, it was basically just showing off our Metal Gear Solid, I believe it did. I don't think it showed up too much of Indiana Jones, if any at all. I don't remember the top of my head. I'm trying to remember if it did or not. It might have done a little bit, but not much. Um, so a lot of the games that were coming out in this presentation was mostly for from the Asian markets. So New Japan, probably China, and all those countries around that area. I mean, all the while, one thing I do give the, um, the Asian companies um, credit is they make really good um, RPGs or JRPGs and shit. So I'll give them great credit in that department, guys. And they have a lot of games coming out. Some are better than others. I mean, there's some of them I wasn't interested in, or some I was interested in. There's some of them I think I was sort of interested in. But there wasn't really many of them that I was not interested in. I mean, somewhat. There was a few games that were like more Battle Royale type of um, games. I could not care less about them. There was a few um, indie games which was interesting. Some of them I cared. Some I did not give a shit about. It was one I didn't originally care about until the end of the and that part of the um, presentation, but I kind of care about it now. So it looks like it might be a fun puzzle game to play every so often that might be worth for a stream. I don't know. Um, other than that, yeah, it was just a lot of RPG, uh, JRPGs. Now the big thing I want to talk about was the end part, which was the last ten minutes, I say. Uh, they were talking about their partnership with Square Enix, which I didn't, wasn't aware that they're actually getting quite close to Square Enix. And Square Enix is doing a few things I actually friggin' ha I'm happy about. So one, guys, as you may or may not know, I had to set up a new stream account because I keep getting on my passwords and email crap lost. So I sent up the new account and all that, and I got them all. I don't have anything on Steam at the moment. It's completely empty. I was about to buy some games probably in next week or something. But I ended up finding out the um, Square Enix is bringing a lot of their games that are already on PlayStation and the Switch and PC over to the Xbox. Which is going to be good news. So games like, um, what was it? Legends of Mana, um, Trials of Mana, um, the Final Fantasy, um, Pixar Master 1 to 6. So yeah, games like that. Uh, we'll not be surprised if more and more of them come across over in, in the future, guys. But those ones were the main ones I was interested in. I'm surprised to see that the, um, the Mana series was the one on, X, on the Game Pass. The Pixels is not, but, eh, can't win them all, I guess. Um, either way, even if it wasn't on it, I would still buy it. It would just require a bit more logical 
Um, but yeah, it looks really interesting, guys. I'm, I'm very happy to see they're doing it. And you know what? While we are doing this video, I want to see that it actually it is actually there. So, you know what? It's not just about the Xbox Game Pass. It's still, let's have a look at it. All right. Um, let's get back to my other camera. Hopefully, my camera. Of course, it doesn't work. And you can see my um, software here because I had it set up. Give me a second. Console. As you can see, guys, console's offline. I, I turned it off because I wanted it to be off. So I just want to see if the, what they said is true. Um, they said that the, some of the Mana games are already on there and they should be um, Xbox Game Pass. So let's go and look. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. As you see, guys, I've got three accounts on here. This is my main account. This one's my Minecraft one, which I'll be renaming it to. And this one's... This one's for the games that don't have save files. So, for example, the profile link. So, like, Warza, for example, and shit. So, that's not used a lot. Uh, it's mostly these two. Um, but, yeah, let's get into it. Um, I do have my Game Pass running 100%, hopefully, or at least for now. I just want to see if they are there, guys. So, yeah. Um, either way, guys, if they are there and they are bringing it out, I will be very happy. Because I'm an Xbox gamer. Um, I don't have a PlayStation. You know, I'm not saying anything bad about PlayStation. If I had a PlayStation account back then, or if I had a PlayStation, I probably would have bought the damn game by now. Um, oh, it looks like it's right there, guys. Trials of Mana. Install. Okay, how much is it? $66. This, the only problem I have with this, guys, not not the game, I'm talking about Xbox itself, is they don't have a spot where I can just... Oh, give me a break. I can't just select the name of the company, for example... Square Enix, and then just it displays all the games from them. I mean, that would be really useful. Um, it, no, they don't have something that easy. Um, but I'm pretty sure they've got areas. No, they don't have anything. Shit! Guys, I don't remember Game Pass costing that much. Last time I checked, it was like just under $20. Looks like they've been jacking it up bit by bit. But even way, guys, you do get the EA Pay membership one, so... You do get some functionality in that. Um, let's get back up there. So it looks like it's good. <coughs> okay, so I've got that one there. I want to see if there's another way. I don't want, don't want to talk about it. Okay, so that's there. Um, that's cool. Um, let's go to Game Pass. Uh, see if I can get there. So yeah, guys. In way, I mean, the best thing for the game. Uh, also, we're talking about, I think, Black Ops that comes out in November sometime. I mean, in the November or something, guys. So that's something I'm keeping an eye at, and it's going to be on Game Pass, so I'm definitely going to give that a shot. I mean, why not? It's not like I've got to pay for it. Um, we've got a few games here. We've got Trials here. Um, we've got Legend. Okay, so they did put new ones here. Look at This is the one I was talking about before, guys. That's one that's going to be interesting. Um, anything else? Not really. Oh, yeah, this one will be a good game to play too, guys. This just came out. But I want to get that for the PC. I don't like. I'm not going to play this kind of, that type of game on a console because I just don't feel it's beneficial. I think games, like, especially RTS and all that kind of stuff, should be done on a PC. That's my opinion. If you don't have access to a PC and you only got Xbox, okay, fair enough. But for me, since I have access to my PC and it's um, yeah, I have an Xbox app and it's all linked together and all that, yeah, it'll make more sense to put it there. So there is a few games here that's kind of interesting, like this one I'll probably play. This one, um, I believe this one's interesting. What's this? Creatures of... I don't even know about this one. Give me a second, guys. I just got to... Oh. This game needs a freaking... Oh, right, guys, just give me a second. I don't remember it. Just give me a second. What are you saying? Oh, yep, I remember it. Yep, this one's a good one too, guys. I'll be one to put in. So, so what games will I be downloading today? I think the top ones I'll be downloading today, guys. Oh, sorry, guys. It wasn't that one. It was this one. Um, so, I'll be this one, this one, and that one. Now, let's get started, guys. Even though this was about the Xbox game show, this is a part of Xbox, so sue me. Um, these will be probably fun to play. I mean, why not? Uh, are there going to be others I'm going to be putting on? Yes, I'll be definitely playing that. I don't know about that one, though. What the hell is that about? Yeah, it doesn't sound that interesting to me. 
map. Yeah, I don't really care about the map games. Maybe I'll give it a shot, but it's not something uh, interesting. Um, Core Keep I already got. That one I'm going to get for PC. Don't really care about those type of games, but definitely a slim. So, yeah, that's probably about it for them one. Definitely not buying that because I don't like um, Overwatch that much. I don't play those games, guys. I've got three of them. So, yeah, I just want to see if they've got it. And behold, they do have it. So I want to see if they've got the Pixel Remastered here. And I've got to find the search. Why? I've got to ask, why can't they put the search at the top instead of putting it there? This stuff here, guys, should be on the top. What they should do is have a certain things at the top. Because when you look at this, I look at this as a website, guys, and usually websites have everything at the top. I mean, I know this is more like a, um, what do, you, what do we call it? Basically a headline type of thing. So basically, like in the old days, newspaper guys, which is newspapers, um, they have like big bold texts for the most important stuff at the front of the page. Basically, that, that's what this is. And then you've got the pages down here. But somewhat, I still think they should have some of these up here. For example, things like maybe perks, deals, search. Um, probably later, yeah, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be too nitpicky. Anyway, I was coming here for a reason. Uh, final. Can't just say. Hey yeah, guys, I like to do these videos my way, not the same way everyone else does it, because it's just not interesting to me. So I like to do anything my way, guys. If people got an issue with that, not my concern. Okay, we've got a lot of Final Fantasy here. The last time I checked for Final Fantasy, they barely had any. I think they only had the original one. Where is it? No, it's not even here. Where is it? I don't know. Where is it? Um, World of Final Fantasy. Oh my god, they actually. Ooh! This game I want to get, guys. I didn't even know. Oh, wait, it's a demo. God damn it. That explains why it was free. That would have been the one. Oh, it's only $50. It's not that bad. Oh, um, yeah, I don't care about that. I'm looking for the Pixel Remaster. Do I even have a Pixel Remaster in here yet? It looks like it. No, it doesn't look like it, guys. I don't see it anyway. Guess it's not out yet. Probably not out yet. Um. But at least you can see the Final Fantasy is definitely making a comeback. So I've got to give them some credit there. Look at that, guys. I forgot about that one. That's, that one will be a good one to play. It's real like um, Lord the, um, World of Warcraft, Lord of the Rings Online, that type of stuff. Um, now, some of these are, I think one or two of them I already own. Like this one here, I hope I can get to it. This one here I own already. It's only 20 bucks, so it's not like it's super expensive. Look at that. That's $10. That's a little more expensive, but that's a newer game. So. Yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with that, guys. I mean, I just want to see if they had anything or anything like that, guys. So I'm going to finish it up here. Um, as I said, I was more excited for the Final Fantasy and the Dungeon Quest. Ah, Dungeon. That's what I should do that. I don't know if it's on here yet, though. But they might not have it on yet. Dragon Quest, not Dungeon Quest. Where the hell am I getting dungeon? Oh, I mean, I'm going to try and Here we go. Probably got spells wrong, guys. Just see me. Yep. Spell, my bad spellings come back to me. I'll um, just go into the normal shop, and the shop will tell me everything there. Uh, let's see what new games are coming out. What's the new game? I don't care about game path. Just new games in general. Yes, all right, okay, let's see what we've got here. Sales. Um, sales are always good, so. Install. Oh, there it is. $86. So it's, yeah, it's about 100 bucks. A bit over $100. Which... I wonder why I couldn't find it, guys. I was looking on the game. You know, yeah. $108. Not much difference. I mean, if I had the money, I probably would buy it today, but maybe in a few weeks when we'll get somewhere. Um, Some of these games are really good. Like this one, like I said, this one I want to get. Um, I might that specific one. I think that's an add-on, but you get the idea. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else here interesting? Monster Hunter World. Yeah, I want to get that. Um, not really into that. Like a dragon. I don't know if I'm going to get that at all, but I hear it's pretty damn good, so it might be worth it. This one I definitely want to get. Um, this one I don't think was interesting to me. Neither was that one. Um, I don't think that one got me in interested either. How well, I don't know what that's doing here. 
And yeah, Jones, definitely this one here. That's the one I was looking for, and it's $100. So there's a few here, guys, that I really want to get. So, oh, well, we're switching up. Um, yeah, as I said, me, the best part of this was the end part. The Royal Final Fantasy stuff I want to get, and now I can actually get it on my Xbox without going onto Steam, which is nice. I mean, it didn't bother me if I had to go on Steam, guys. Steam's usually like the last resort. If it's not on the Xbox or the Xbox app, I usually go to Steam. Steam's always my go-to afterwards. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, guys. So I'd give it a... Listen, guys. I think it's worth a five. Just a five. Why? Okay, I'll explain why it's only a five. There's no Forza Horizon. There's nothing, no racing games on here at all. I mean, I like racing games, guys, and especially right, um, Forza games. I've not talked about anything about a new Horizon or new Forza game in general. And, I mean, it would be nice they made a new Project Gotham game, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Certainly, that's another racing game, but it's a little different to Forza. It was more of a, um, more okay racing than actual racing racing. But, yeah, I just wanted to say that, guys. So, the reason it's not five, it's because there's just not much, there wasn't a ton of things I want. A lot of the stuff was from um, Asia or in Asian developments. It wasn't really a big thing about new games, specifically like Forza and any other racing games. Um, the more about at the moment getting more Asian companies into this um, into their mix. So like five from five over five games and whatever other games. Secret, no, secret matter. Uh, Square Enix, which I, it's nice to see they're getting along with them much better because they had a bit of a, a um. They, Originally, they had a bit of a falling out, and then they went to PlayStation, and now PlayStation, and then having a falling out. And just there. Yeah, I think I think Square Enix as a whole should be focusing on basically just become a company who doesn't do too much exclusives. Now, I reckon maybe they should do some exclusives there and there. Um, they pick who I want to do that with, with Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, who knows what the company is, who knows what the future brings. Oh yeah, I think a little bit of it, maybe a bit more. Um, maybe they show up bundles with the um store and all that, or the ones they would prefer to be with, or whatever the case may be. It's a lot of opportunity. Um, I'm rambling, guys. But anyway, as I said, I give this out of I give this a five out of ten. Now it wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. Um, before I do go, it was better than the, the Sony PlayStation one, which is. Not really shocking to believe because PlayStation hasn't really had a really good one for a while. I mean, it, I think the thing that really killed it for many people with that thing was the PlayStation Pro. Um, these guys are a bit doing a different strategy altogether. They're not doing exactly the same thing as PlayStation is. And people keep forgetting that. They're not as interested in the console gaming as PlayStation. PlayStation is so much more focused on the, on, you know, the PlayStation 5, 4, and so on. With Xbox, you can play it on, well, Xbox, you can play it on your phone, you can play it on your tablet and all that, with um, xCloud and all that kind of stuff. So Xbox, it's just trying to get more games. I think they should work on their hardware a little bit more often and give us more better hardware a little bit there and there. But no, I don't think they need to improve it too much, if anything at all. And that's probably why they're not doing a mid-tier release. It's just, I don't think it's beneficial. I think a few years, yeah, they need it. They'll probably bring out a new system. New AR, U, UI, and all that good stuff, guys. So, yeah, um, yeah, I got distracted again. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, we'll finish it up here. So, as I said, five. I'm happy with it. I'm especially happy with the um, Square Enix stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear a lot of people talking about it. And on that, on that note, cheers. I hope you guys have a fantastic day.